What's up, Taurus? My name is Lisa. Ooh, what's flying here? Ooh, separation. So you are in separation or feeling a distance between you and your person. Ooh, this could be um, something involving a wedding. Okay. Um, either like a divorce or maybe like a... Um, I'm hearing like a, an engagement, like ending. Okay, this is express your love and stay in the moment. There's something here with children and look, there's that wedding card again. Okay, so some of you, um, look, here's the engagement. I'm telling you, see, heart to heart conversation. So maybe you're either engaged and you're having like, Thinking about becoming engaged, I also feel like there's some people that have, like, called their engagement off, okay? But it's like, I don't feel like, it, yeah, they're saying amlic, I can't say that word, amlic, I don't know. They're showing it to me, but I can't say it, all right? Like, so that it's, like, not done in um, a ruthless way, okay? Like, that's the way that you want to end it. All right, give me give me one card. For, I'm going to do the divine. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Um, I, I read for deep soul connections, twin flames, soulmates, divine love connection. Okay, D divine feminine on this side, divine masculine on this side. All right, give me one card for the divine feminine, please. Yeah, let go of con con control issues and just have some fun, divine feminine. All right. Um, yeah, they just said there's going to be a period of waiting. All right. Something's going on here. Somebody's having issues with, um, sometimes I see this card and I automatically get custody battles. Okay. And that's what I'm getting right now. There's some sort of arguments going on, whether this is you and your person or you and whoever else you're connected to, because something's ending here as well, or it's your person and whoever else they're connected to. Okay. So this is why Divine Feminine, you're being advised to have fun with your life, okay? Give me one card for the Divine Masculine. Yeah, learning to love themselves first. Okay, this card popped out as I was shuffling and getting into your energy. I feel like this, somebody is like rushed. Like I feel like somebody is worried that they're not going to get there in time or something. That's what they just said, all right? This divine masculine is learning how to love themselves. They're also appreciative of, because I feel like this divine feminine has put their foot down with this divine masculine. Okay. Cause I mean, this card, like, look at it. Look at the guy. He's like going out the window. All right. Like, why is that guy going out the window? Okay. Cause he doesn't want to be seen because something, something sneaky has been going on here. All right. So I feel like this divine feminine has put her foot down with the sneakiness and is no longer taking it. Okay. But there's some sort of, uh, they're saying, you need to enjoy your time right now because I feel like this my masculine might be a while. A while is different things. It could only, you know, be like a couple of weeks, but um okay, this is my card between now and nine weeks, all right? But it hasn't come out on the on the table. Okay, so it's still in the deck. So that means it could be longer than nine weeks for face to face. Face-to-face -face communication. That doesn't mean that you might not hear from them before, like, get a phone call or a text message or something, but that's my card for face-to-face -face conversation between now and, and nine weeks or whenever you hear this. Because this reading is for August or whenever you watch it. Give me one card for the current connection. Yeah, release your ex. I'm telling you, there's something ending, see, in children. And the children is a big factor. Like, somebody is, like, at war with their ex over custody. Like somebody is using their children as a pawn and that's like very ugly, but it's happening. And this is why it's your person is being delayed. And I feel like whoever else they're attached to is doing this on purpose to delay because they know this divine masculine is headed towards you. Mm. It's ugly. So that's why, Divine Feminine, you're being asked to have fun, okay? Have fun, um, connect with, with people, like, 
build your life. Continue to build your life. All right, give me. Okay, here's this. Uh, yeah, see, patience, um, rest, and healing. It see, cause like your life is about to pick up its pace here. All right. And it could be um, this like Leo energy, like in, you're going to be inspired here. You're going to be coming out of this period of rest. Like, cause I feel like your life is going to change like this divine feminine. Okay. And somebody is in a rush to get to you as well. But they're, they're not going to be able to get to you as fast as they want to. So you need to have patience. All right, give me one card for the Divine Masculine, please. Yeah, see? This guy's over here arguing with people, having to leave people behind, okay? Learning how not to fight with this with, with swords, okay? Because he's trying to do the right thing. He doesn't, he doesn't want it to be ugly, so he's trying not to throw more fuel on the fire. This is why he's sitting by himself, okay? I feel like this Divine Masculine does feel alone. He's got all five swords with, and, and they're laying on the ground. So it's like, he's no longer fighting with whoever this person is. All right. This divine masculine ha, is, is loving himself. He, he's like no longer, like, I feel like he's been awakened to the truth of who this person is. And it's just no longer playing in the games. Okay. He's decided he wants to be a better man. Yeah. I'm hearing that song. Um, something about a better man. And, um, There was a song, uh, something about a bad boy. So I don't know if this person used to be a bad boy or what was some, it's like, um, I forget who sings it. Bradley Gilbert or something. Brantley, Bradley, Bradley. But this, this divine masculine is no longer fighting. He's no longer participating in whatever war is going on here. Okay. Because there is some sort of war going on between him and his ex or soon to be ex. All right, give me one card for the connection, please. Yeah. Magician. Injustice. See, there's there is a divorce here, okay? But this is also about car karma and and just like justice being served, things balancing out. And then the opportunity to create, to create what you want. Let me see. Give me one more card for this magician. Yeah, see? Two of Cups. Okay, they're, they're moving towards each other. Creating the opportunity. That's what that magician's about. But there's, there's things that need to be taken care of first. All right, where's this connection headed? You know, four pentacles, okay? So, like, you both want to hold on to each other, all right? But I'm telling you, this is going to take more patience. Yeah, you're both missing each other, okay? There's still some introspection here, all right? It's like, you have to go inward, look inward, be alone with yourself to, because see, this has the star in it, all right? The star represents the healing, okay? It can also be wish fulfillment, but, and it also means like when it shows up in the reading that like you're on the right track, okay? I want to see, give me one more card for this four of pentacles and yeah, see, yeah. Okay, so where this is headed is that you're both going to gain control, okay? Yeah, look, and then here's the 4-1. <coughs> okay? You're both, you're both going to get control over your life. You're going to have victory over this because you're both missing each other, okay? You're both um, saving your money, okay? But this is also this this connection, when it comes together, it's going to be built on solid ground. Okay. Because 
if this was a third party situation of some, some sort, you know, I, I feel like, um, you know, something happened here. And somebody's making it real difficult to leave. But you both are going to move forward in victory. This is the card of victory here, okay? You're going to have victory over this loss, okay? There could be like a loss of finances. Because I'm telling you, somebody's trying to stick this, this divine masculine like where it, where it counts. And remember, the energy could be flipped here, so. All right, let me get... Um, Show the world the real you. Don't let pride get in your way. Yeah, see, because during this, this process, because over here, this divine feminine is coming out of a period of healing, okay? Because the four swords comes after heartache, right? Okay, so something possibly went down. You, you could have had to leave this divine masculine, okay? But your life's about to change here, all right? Because in the end, you both end up as emperor status, okay? That's like in charge of your life. You could still be in this recuperation period, but it's about to change. I'm telling you, like, there's like some sort of idea or you just get like this second wind. And you're ready to show the world the real you. This is also about the two of you coming out with your connection like going public yeah look at the bigger picture this is coming on the divine feminine side because it's like there's more patience required here this divine masculine cannot just walk away from whatever they're in okay although they're doing it it's not easy yeah this is don't let your past hold you back okay so you're still meant to move forward, Divine Feminine, okay? And, and, and yeah, they're just like saying, harness the energy, work with the energy, because um, I feel like you're developing projects or... And it's also going to distract you from wanting to know when, because you have to just put that to the side for now. Because I'm telling you, this divine masculine is kind of in over his head right now. Not really because he stopped fighting. But it's still not an easy situation here. Okay? Like, everybody's against him. Look, be bold and make the first move. This is coming over here by this divine masculine. And that's what he's doing. Like, making the first move is like him laying down his swords. Which he's done. Okay? Look, and a new start is coming. For both of you. All right. Let's get messages from your person. All right. Please give me messages from Taurus's person, please. Be expecting my call. Told you. He's getting ready. I traded in gold for Chuck E. Cheese coins. Yikes. And I feel like it's showing even more because whoever this divine masculine was connected to, it's like now that this divine masculine isn't even like participating in the fighting or, and is still like moving forward with leaving. It's like their, their ugly is showing big time. Like twin flames. I visit you in your dreams. I think of you constantly. Look, twin flames again. This this divine masculine knows that you are their twin. Like they and they know it as twin flame. Like you are their twin flame. And this divine masculine knows it. I know who you are to me. I mean, come on guys, like that's crazy, right? Like it, it still freaks me, me out too. I need to tell you. I need to tell I need to tell you how I truly feel. I wasn't ready for you then, but I'm working on it now. I'm telling you, 
this divine masculine is changing. I mean, for this person to put down the swords when they had all the swords to like throw at the other person and they didn't like this person is literally changing their life. I look at your pictures every day. Dang. It's really beautiful. I mean, you're both going through a major transformation, but it's coming after like, yeah, see, a new start is coming. That's what we said. Like, yeah, it's coming after releasing a lot of fucking negativity. Forgive and forget. And that's how you're going to move forward. Whatever... Whatever caused you to separate from your divine masculine, that needs to be forgiven and forget. And this is what this masculine is working on doing over here, like forgiving whoever else they're attached to. And, and even possibly things that may have happened between this you and this divine feminine. Yeah, look, be true to yourself, both of you. That's the message for both of you. But forgive and forget, this, this is huge. This is why Divine Feminine, you're being asked to look at the bigger picture. Your Divine Masculine is going through a lot right now. Not because he doesn't want to. Like, he's willingly taking it, but he's, like, taking a fucking beating, like, right now. But he's, I feel like he is literally transforming. Remember how he was saying something about that song, the bad boy song? It's like he's he's switching. Maybe he was that bad boy kind of person. But whatever he's going down here, it's like he's done. He's done with like fake people and um, just chaos. And like he, he wants the stability that he sees in you. But this is about you. Yeah, moving forward with your passion, forgiving him for whatever, taking too long, okay, forgetting the man that he was or has been or however he's shown up. It's like, oh my God, this is intense. Be true to yourself and nurture yourself. This is, this is the, the guidance for both of you right now. Speak up. This is, this is also what you're both learning to do because I feel like divine feminine, there's something maybe <clears throat> with your job, like you're learning to, um, really like, you're like you're busting out of the, your cocoon here in regards to your, your job. This is, yeah, laugh at your demons. See, the, I'm telling you this divine masculine, yeah, look, see, and embrace your power, see, and choose friends wisely. This is, this has been, whoo. I'm telling you, this Divine Masculine is, by the time this Divine Masculine gets back to you, Divine Feminine, he is no longer going to be the man that he's ever shown up to you before. Like, you've never seen your Divine Masculine like this. Okay, change tracks. That's what he's doing. Maybe his path was going, he was going one in one direction and something happened here. He had an awakening. He chose to change his life because he could have turned a blind eye and he didn't. He's doing the work right now, but I'm telling you, this divine masculine is fucking going through it. So send love to your divine masculines. All right. And forgive and forget. That's where you need to focus on. Forgiving and forgetting. Healing yourself. And allowing yourself to be re-inspired. I, I keep hearing that word, re-inspired. But I feel like it has to do with, with, I was about to say love. So you could be getting like a resurgence of love towards your divine masculine as well. But there's something about um, your business and your finances. So it's, it's that as well. Like you're going to have like a resurgence of energy because maybe you've been a little bit tired the last couple of weeks or something. And which is understandable because everybody's been getting these, um, upgrades. All right. Your DNA is changing from like, you know, down to the, yeah, everything's upgrading. All right. And 
Anyway, it feels done. I love you guys. If you're interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. Bye. I love you.